have we just had an earthquake? However, why does this occur and what just what is an earthquake? Earthquakes result from the discharge of energy that creates and propagates waves every way causing the Earth's surface to tremble. Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. What is this energy exactly? Which waves why is the Earth's surface trembling? This is really difficult. Well calm down and listen while I provide an explanation. Simple in a thorough manner Earth is made up of many different parts. Composed of approximately 19 to 20 jigsaw puzzles pieces referred to as tectonic plates. On a hot surface, these plates are placed. Earth's mantle layer is partially molten. This is the rationale for these writings. Moving constantly as you watch this, they are moving. Video these plates swing between 1 and 10. Each year, 1 centimeter, but relax, not all of these motions made to reach us these movements can occasionally be extremely powerful and feels like a lot of trembling beneath your feet or it can even completely demolish a city. An earthquake is that. Earthquakes have place in the Earth's lithosphere area under the surface, there is an earthquake. The energy is released from the Earth. Across the location where the earthquake happens it is known as the hypocenter. And the precise location over it at the epicenter is the Earth's surface. The terriblest earthquake ever to occur was 9.5 out of 10 in magnitude to date. 10. In southern Valdivia, this took place. Chile in 1960. One more incident that occurred in Japan was Tohoku region had a 9.0 magnitude. That took place on March 11, 2011. This earthquake produced significant and tremendous destruction and damage and killed close to 16,000 people. When e geologists employ a tool that can detect the waves resulting from the motion of the plate tectonic seismic waves are the name for these waves. And the apparatus is known as a seismograph. The scale of the earthquake occurrences based on the shock's intensity and are referred as as richer scale energy is involved in this magnitude. During the earthquake, released absolute magnitude is used to express from 0 to 10, with 0 being the lowest nobody feels anything, and 10 being the maximum that can be produced serious damage and fatalities across a huge to learn more about earthquakes let's access the simulator now. On the TV, we can see the inside the Earth's center and finally, outer core mantle both crust as its name implies, the inner core is either the center layer or the innermost layer of the planet it resembles a solid sphere in that environment with a range of 1500 kilometers the Earth's core's temperature is in the 4500 to 5500 degree range. With a pressure between 300 to 360 Celsius a gigapascal, the outer core follows. It has a thickness of around 2,200 kilometers and is equivalent in temperature to enter between 4,500 to 5,500 degrees in the core Celsius, the mantle layer, which is next, is the approximate semi-solid condition of 2,901 kilometer thick. This layer accounts for over 84% of total area of the planet and the crust is the final layer, which, when, is like an apple skin versus additional layers between 0 and 70 kilometers and especially the specific 8 nautical miles to 32 kilometers following continents and this represents just 1% of the Earth's surface. Total weight now that it's dark, we can see a grayish white pixel, let's select it. A little village is visible before this. During street view after that we can see the layers view when we click on it. Earth's surface the grayish hue is referred to as crust. And the reddish colored one is known as, as a mantle we can see it on the side that is to the left. There is a tiny box here that says earthquake. Magnitude with three Richter units buttons that indicate the size of the if an earthquake strength is between 0 and to 2 it is hardly perceptible when the more than 2 but less than 4 intensity we are able to detect light vibrations and feel it somewhat 4 to 4.9 is regarded as the tiny range. A minor earthquake, etc. Between 5 and 5.9 are regarded as mild earthquakes. 
as well as between 6 and 6.9 are regarded as powerful earthquakes. We shall determine the extent of the harm in due time. These sizes are capable of and anything greater than 7 is classified as major. Cities can be destroyed by earthquakes, and continents these measurements are kept on a seismograph set to 4 to 4.9 magnitude to now watch how this earthquake occurs. We can tell that the earthquake began at a, a hypocenter point inside the earth. There are two sorts of waves during an earthquake. Our created body waves are one, and the other known as surface waves check out what are known as body waves. The waves that move are called body waves. Via the Earth's innards and through the Earth's body, and thus the name the motion of these body waves, these waves are surface level. Can cause surface waves on rocks, let's examine these bodies in more detail. Surfaces waves and waves that is the hypocenter from this place the emission of waves they are referred to as main waves or a P wave, what are these P waves now? P waves are trembling seismic waves. The same direction of the ground's motion direction and moving in the opposite direction of the wave is traveling in, which is these sound waves move similarly to each other. Waves AP wave appears like this. They are the first P waves to be on a seismograph, recorded now, a split second later, when the cliffs with these P waves are closer to the exterior generates a fresh set of waves the S swells, or referred to as secondary waves. These waves are aimed at the crust of the earth, and they are vibrations and tremors. That we sense the wave motion in a solid is called S waves. If the medium is in motion in the opposite direction of the weave, these S waves are what follow the P wave. On a seismograph, recorded now that these waves have reached the surface, the earthquake ruptures the epicenter of the earthquake comes from the surface is known as an epicenter. The P and S waves are followed by the exterior waves, which waves are the most harmful as perhaps they are the movements or shifting of the rocks, which results in constructions that collapse and cause damage into life. Let's observe the creation of P once more. S waves and this earthquake can be seen to have occurred. A magnitude of between 4 and 4.9 damage to surrounding modest houses as a result, but the structures are fine. See what transpires when the magnitude ranges from 5 to 5.9. Reset first, then press the button. Well, that damage is significant. The tiny homes are destroyed, and additionally, buildings have fractures additionally. We can see that the road is now cracked. Another thing to keep in mind is that to the magnitude, the more closely the to the epicenter is the hypocenter. Observe this when we go from 6 to 6.9 magnitude the harm is severe. Roads are nearly unusable and structures are little dwellings are crumbling and fractured earthquakes can actually be very dangerous. If this is the case a severe natural disaster if magnitude is restricted to 7 imagine what 9.5 and 9 would even like. Because they happen relatively frequently magnitudes that have been examined in this simulation it is quite challenging to forecast an earthquake determined using a seismograph also goes by the name seismometer, but even our mobile phones can now recognize using these seismic waves, scientists using this information.